Ah, Bikini Bottom, a paradise on the ocean floor, home to many undersea creatures living their lives in peace and tranquility. Good morning, Gary. What are we going to do today? Wow. Great idea. Let's visit Patrick. Citizens of Bikini Bottom, may I have your attention, please? I wonder what's going on. in charge, he'll steal the Krabby Patty formula and shut down the Krusty Krab! Ah! Don't eat me! Hello, SpongeBob. We haven't met, but believe me, I'm your friend. Plankton has joined forces with villains from other worlds, and with their help, he's taking over Bikini Bottom. Come on, SpongeBob, wake up! Oh, I must have had too much ice cream last night. I've been gathering information about your world, and I know you've dealt with him before. Please, SpongeBob, we need your help. Anyone else care to defy me? Okay, I'll do what I can to help. Follow my dog, and he will lead you to me. I'll be able to tell you more when you get to my lab. <laughs> Gary, stand guard and don't let them in. I'll be back soon. Meow. Jimmy Neutron, welcome to my lab. This is amazing. He's a giant block of cheese. Timmy, SpongeBob is a sponge from a place called Bikini Bottom. Oh, that reminds me. My Neutronic Moisture Sealant will keep you moist outside of water. This is the strangest morning I've had since, well, last Tuesday. Wow, he can talk? Of course he can, Danny. Where SpongeBob comes from, all sea creatures can talk. SpongeBob, we need to bring you up to speed on what's happening. This all started with my latest invention, the Universe Portal Machine. It's a device that lets us travel to other worlds. Professor Calamitous has somehow gained access to my project plans and created a copy of my machine. I've been tracking Calamitous's portals, and he's been visiting your worlds. He's found an ally in each world, and they've teamed up to form a syndicate. He must have some sort of master plan that they can all benefit from. They've combined their powers to create an army of Syndicate troops, and they're stealing energy from each of your worlds. We don't know why they're stealing this energy, but whatever it's for, it won't be good. Don't be such a science nerd. If you think about it, this is actually pretty cool. It's just like one of my games. Now, Timmy, this is a lot more serious than one of your video games. We've lost our powers because of this Syndicate, and we won't be able to do anything until they're stopped. Yeah, Timmy. Right now, this wand is just a glorified back scratcher. Your holograms are right, Timmy. We must work together to stop the Syndicate. I know you've each defeated these guys individually. That's why I've brought you all here. If we combine our knowledge, we can beat them. All I'm saying is that it's exciting to work as a team and save the day. Well, now that the entire team is assembled, I think it's time we get started. Okay, since we don't know where Calamitous's secret laboratory is, our only leads lie in each of your worlds. To begin with, let's stop them from draining the energy. Where should we start? How about Amity Park? Let's go! Huh? Where are we? I set the machine to take us to Danny's school. I must have made a miscalculation. Oh, you've made no mistake. <laughs> 
I've taken up residence at Casper High, or at least where Casper High once stood. I'm glad you could finally make it. I've been waiting for you all to arrive. Sorry we were late, but now let's get the party started. <laughs> oh, it's not that simple, Danny. I have the upper hand. All you need to do is join me, and I will let them go. I told you before, I use my powers for good. You cannot resist, Danny. The Syndicate cannot be defeated. With every passing moment, this ghost portal provides us with power for the Syndicate's ultimate plan, and provides me with unlimited ghost energy. I will never join you! <sighs> You'll have plenty of time to consider my offer further. As you rot for eternity in the Ghost Zone <laughs> Prison! <laughs> this is my prison. I make the rules. You boys are never getting out of here. a ghost zone, then those things before, th th they must have been ghosts! You know, Lad's not the only one with a ghost portal. You have access to another ghost portal? It's nearby. Follow me. Fascinating. This looks like ghost hunting technology. Did you make these devices yourself? Uh, no, uh, the... Fitton family are the ghost technology wizards, uh, <laughs> not me. The Fittons? Are they the freaky couple Vlad had trapped in his throne room? If they're ghost experts, we should try to rescue them. We can't. Vlad's too powerful with his ghost portal open. We need to find some way to shut it down. If I spend some time studying these devices, perhaps we can build a gadget to close the portal. This is no time to be studying. Yeah, we're heroes! Heroes don't just sit around and study. You're right! Heroes go out and save the world! All right, let's get going. We'll figure out a plan once we get to Vlad's castle. Hooray! Amity Park is a ghost-free zone! Not quite. There's still one big ghost we need to take care of. Let's close his portal for good. This place isn't so creepy. Bye. Right, guys? <laughs> Why? This place is awesome. It's just like something out of a scary movie. We need a way to shut down that ghost portal. We can't beat Vlad while that thing is open. Vlad would need a lot of energy to keep that portal open. He must have generators in this castle. That's why you're the boy genius. So, Danny, you've escaped from the ghost zone and shut down my portal. Give it up, Vlad. You've lost your power and Amity Park has been saved. It's all over. Just give up. You underestimate me, Danny. With the help of the Syndicate, I'll soon have it up and running again, and we've already harnessed enough ghost energy for our device. Our device? The Syndicate is building something? Yes, and very soon, you will all bow down to the might of the Syndicate. It doesn't matter what you're planning. We're going to stop you. Oh, but what of Jack and Maddie Fenton? Surely you wouldn't risk their innocent lives, would you? I'm not gonna stand here and let you treat them like puppets. Get ready to pay for this! I don't believe it! <laughs> you better believe it, Vlad. You've lost. For now, maybe. But soon you will regret standing up to the Syndicate. This is far from over. Far, far from over! That mean old Vlad escaped! At least the Fentons are safe. Well, that's a relief. Okay, let's get out of here before they notice us. But I was hoping to learn more about their ghost hunting technology. Trust me, 
Ghost hunters and ghost boys don't mix. Besides, Amity Park is back to normal, and we've got other worlds to save. You're right. Here we go! Wow, this is Bikini Bottom? I can't believe we're under the sea! Everyone, keep chewing your Neutronic air gum. It'll let you breathe in this environment. I can't wait to introduce you to all my friends. There's Patrick and Squidward and Mr... Uh, SpongeBob, where is everybody? Now that you mention it, it is a bit quiet. Too quiet. If everyone is missing, the Syndicate may be responsible. No, Jimmy. I think it's something much more devious than that. I think that someone has prepared... A surprise birthday party for me! Surprise! Hmm, not here. Surprise! Nope, not here either. Surprise! Wow, they're hiding so well it's gonna take me forever to find everyone. I don't think that's it, SpongeBob. I think that... Surprise! Is it a costume party? I don't think they're costumes. Come on, SpongeBob, let's go! Sandy! I knew you wouldn't miss my surprise party. SpongeBob, your birthday's not for another month. Now you and your friends follow me. Okay, guys, here's the situation. Plankton has taken control of Bikini Bottom. He's locked up anyone who's resisted, and one of the first to get captured was Mr. Krabs. No, oh, no. Now, he's catching all the jellyfish in jellyfish fields and transporting them back to his fortress factory where he's extracting power from their sting. Those poor jellyfish! I have a plan to save the jellyfish and overthrow Plankton, and we need your help. We'd be happy to help, Sandy. First, we go to jellyfish fields and destroy his jellyfish harvesting machines. That should disrupt Plankton's plans. And save those wild jellyfish! Next, we will sneak into Plankton's fortress and shut down his machines. And save the captured jellyfish. In all the chaos, we should be able to sneak into Plankton's control center to stop his operation completely. And save Mr. Krabs! Ooh, this is like a spy movie. Do we have any secret agents? You're smart, kid. We've already got an agent in Jellyfish Fields. Your mission is to make contact with our agent. And how will we know this agent? Don't worry, he's one of our best men. His code name is Agent Star. Wow, a secret agent. I wonder who it could be. Quietly. No one must know we are here until we find Agent Star. Hey, SpongeBob! Don't tell anyone, but Sandy made me a secret agent! <laughs> Patrick! Watch out for that jellyfish harvester! Patrick, no! <laughs> Help! <laughs> kind of... <laughs> it tickles! Sponge! Help! SpongeBob! Help! You! Ouch! Sponge! You! Ouch! Sponge! You! Ouch! Just Sponge Bob! <laughs> Don't worry, SpongeBob. We'll get him back. Let's stick to Sandy's plan. We'll take out these jellyfish harvesters and then enter Plankton's fortress. We'll find Patrick there. So long, Mr. Dutchman! That looks like our way in. Patrick, Mr. Krabs, all the little jellyfish, hang on, we're coming! We need to shut this factory down. We can't let the Syndicate collect any more energy from these jellyfish. Hmm, from the look of these plans, there are four emergency vents that we should be able to release the jellyfish through. Ah, oh, that ought to do it. Wait, what's that noise? Patrick, hooray! Don't worry, buddy. We'll have you out of there in a jiffy. Right. Now that we've saved the jellyfish, it's time to find Plankton. We're coming to save you, Mr. Krabs!
I've tried being reasonable with you crabs, and I've tried being unreasonable. Yet you refuse to surrender the Krabby Patty formula. Why do you resist? Why won't you give me that formula? No, Mr. Krabs! Don't tell him! What? SpongeBob? Plankton, you've gone too far this time. What would your mother think? Why, I'm sure she would be very proud of me. I was always her favorite. Prepare to be crushed! Well, Plankton, what would your mother think now? You're right, SpongeBob. She would be very disappointed in me. Being a villain is no way to live. That's right. Go on. I can change. I can see the error of my ways. I'll help people from now on and devote my life to being good. I don't know if he's learned his lesson, but he's certainly not ruling Bikini Bottom anymore. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. I can't believe you fell for that. And you, SpongeBob, falling for the line about my mother? <laughs> when will you people learn? <laughs> Patrick, where did you come from? Uh, up there. Uh, I need a shower. You may have stopped my plans, but the Syndicate is still getting energy from Dimsdale. We will soon have enough energy to finish the Doomsday Machine, and then you will all bow down before me. Nothing can stop the Syndicate! Nothing! <laughs> Doomsday Machine? That doesn't sound good. Let's find out what Crocker's been up to in Dimsdale. We've got to stop them from powering that Doomsday Machine. Otherwise, all of our futures are at risk. Real gold? It must be worth a fortune. If only it wasn't so ugly looking. Oh, Timmy, this doesn't look good. There's a rainbow of pure fairy magic flowing into Crocker's fortress. Why is that bad? Rainbows are simply the result of light refracting through moisture in the atmosphere. This is a completely different kind of rainbow. One made of fairy magic. Fairy magic? Crocker must be extracting energy from this computer simulation. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, we've got to stop him. You're right. There's definitely a power stream going into that fortress. Let's find a way in and investigate. Okay, boys, on the count of three, we'll touch the prism with our wands and transport us all to Fairy World. This still isn't making much sense. But if you think this will work... Don't worry, guys. This will take us straight to Fairy World. Uh, simulation. We've got to figure out what Crocker has done. Okay, here we go. Three, two... Was that three, two, one, go? Or just three, two... One! This doesn't look good, Timmy. Crocker has taken over Fairy World and is draining power from the big wand to feed their doomsday machine. Wow! At last, some help! But why do you bring puny children instead of mighty heroes? Ha! Ah, don't sweat it, Jurgen. Big things often come in small packages. Ask Wanda. What are you saying? What he means is that these children are heroes. They may be small, but we've seen them do great things. All right, we must prepare for battle. The human named Crocker may have taken away our magic, but with your help, we can fight back. First, free all the captured fairies. We will need everybody's help to take back Fairy World. Well, let's get to it. We need to stop Crocker as soon as possible. This is it, guys! Crocker is draining the energy from here! Let's get up there and stop him! So, Turner, you finally made it! And I see that you brought your fairies with you! Don't call my friends fairies! What's a fairy? You're too late! Calamitous and the Syndicate have more than enough power for the Doomsday Device. And very soon, the Syndicate will demonstrate the power it has over all worlds by destroying one! 
With fairy magic under my control, I am unstoppable! The Syndicate will rule the universe, and I will rule Dimsdale and Fairy World! So, he's right, Tibby! As long as that machine is draining fairy magic, we can't do anything to him! But we can make fun of his outfit! Nice pants! We've got to shut his machine down! No! No! You can't take my power away! I am the king of Fairy World! You can't stop me! The fairies have their magic back! Yay, magic! And Fairy World has it back, too! It's over! You may have beaten me this time, Turner, but Fairy World will be mine again! The Doomsday Machine is fully charged! You don't have a chance! Hmm. You'd think we'd learn by now that they run away when we beat them. I'll just assume that was part of the plan. If what Crocker said is true, we need to head back to Retroville right away. We must find Professor Calamitous before he uses that doomsday machine. Don't sweat it. I think I can fix everything now. I wish that none of these problems ever happened, and that all the bad guys were in jail. I'm sorry, Timmy, but the rules say that you can only wish for changes to our world. Even Crocker is out of our reach for the moment. I guess we gotta do this the old-fashioned way. Okay, Jimmy, back to Retroville. Cindy, what are you doing in my lab? I'm here because you have once again managed to ruin the lives of everyone in Retroville. What makes you think I'm involved? It doesn't take a genius IQ. If something this bad happens, Neurotrons is the first place to look. I want to know what you're going to do about this. Hi, Cindy. Oh, hi, Timmy. I didn't know you were back in Retroville. We haven't got time for this. We need to find Professor Calamitous before he starts his doomsday machine. <laughs> You're too late, Jimmy Neutron. All of your heroics have been for nothing. And now, with the final stroke of my master plan, all the worlds in the, um, uh... Universe? Yes, Universe will bow down to the Syndicate's power or be, um, uh... Destroyed? Uh... Yes! Destroyed! Now that the Doomsday Machine is ready, your worlds have no choice but to accept our demands. You can't stop us! We can stop them if we disable their Doomsday Machine. We've got to find Professor Calamitous's lab. Jimmy, I think Goddard might need a bath. He looks like he has fleas. Ew! Fleas! Get him away from me! Goddard doesn't get fleas. Wait a minute. That's it! That must be how Calamitous copied my plans for the Universe Portal Machine. He's spying on us through some kind of flea bot. Goddard, run a self-diagnostic search for energy losses within your system. The flea is likely to be a parasitic nanobot. What are you doing, Neutron? There is a madman about to destroy the world, and you are worried about a little flea inside your pet? We need to find Professor Calamitous's secret lab. If he has been watching us through a device inside Goddard, then it must be transmitting a signal to his base. If we can reach the device, we can track the signal back to Calamitous. We need a plan. Think, think, think. Great blast! I got it! We can shrink ourselves down with the shrink ray and fly into Goddard's mouth using my hovercraft. Once we capture the flea bot, we can trace its signal back to Calamitous's lair. According to the reading I took, the parasitic drains were strongest in the audiovisual center of the CPU. We'll need to make our way through Goddard's systems to get there, but there were minor drains everywhere, so they could be anywhere in his systems. This is Goddard's head. The flea bot should be right behind this panel. somewhere. Remember, we need to retrieve the transmitter unit from it so we can use it to trace the signal to Calamitous's secret lab. Well, but I was sure that the flea bot was here. Ah! 
You know what? You can afford to be wrong once in a while. Now to trace this Fleabot signal. Aha! I've got the coordinates for Calamitous's lair. The lair is underground beneath an abandoned warehouse. It's not that far from here. We can take the hover car. All right, this is it! Let's go stop the syndicate once and for all! This is it, Professor. We are here to stop your doomsday machine. And once we've stopped your evil plans, you villains are going to spend a very long time in jail. It looks like you heroes won't quit unless we give you a um, uh, demonstration of our power. Universal Doomsday Machine Countdown Initiated. Retroville destruction will commence in five minutes and counting. Have a nice day. Once started, it can't be stopped, you see. I never got around to finishing the, um, um, override switch. Are you crazy? You'll destroy yourselves, too! Oh no, Danny, I assure you. We are quite safe inside this protective capsule. Even fairies couldn't save you now, Turner! We've got to disable that doomsday machine! What kind of amateurs do you think we are? That's right. It won't be that easy for you. Computer, activate the, uh, um, you know, uh, doomsday defense systems. I don't believe it. You've defeated our defense system. That's right. You've taught me a valuable lesson in teamwork, Professor. But the lesson ends here. Oh, not quite, Jimmy Neutron. You may have defeated me, but the Doomsday Machine is still going to destroy Retroville, and you can't stop it! <laughs> oh no! There are only 30 seconds left! What are we gonna do? Come on, Brain! Think! 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 What if I go ghost with it? No, that won't work. Guys, how about maybe Cosmo and Lana could send it into a black hole? I know. I can reconfigure the plasma flux and reverse the polarity. But there's no time. What are we gonna do? <laughs> what happened? It worked. No. I, um, uh, never finished the backup power supply. Way to go, SpongeBob! <laughs> it's over! You saved the day! With Professor Calamitous in jail and the rest of the Syndicate in your custody, I think it's time we go our separate ways. But take these neutron recallers with you. If anything like this happens again, we can work together to resolve it. Thanks, Jimmy. You're welcome to visit me in Bikini Bottom anytime you like. Guess I should get going. Don't want to lose my job at the Krusty Krab. Mr. Krabs would fire you after you saved his life? Nah, but if I'm not there on time, he starts charging me for wasting his time. Sometimes I have to work all day just to break even, but I love working there. So long, guys. Hup. Well, I guess it's my turn to say goodbye. Here, Jimmy, I I've got something for you. Something to remember me by. And you never know when it might come in handy. Thanks, Danny. With this, I can figure out what those phantasmal projections really were. Um, Vlad's not still in there, is he? No, he's in this one. I, I borrowed your matter duplicator to make that copy. <laughs> it's good to see you again, Timmy. But we should probably say goodbye. Thanks for lending me this hypercube. I'll let Crocker out once we get back to Dimsdale. Bye, Timmy! I'm missing you already! <laughs> ah, life is almost back to normal. Just one more thing to take care of. Cindy, get out of here!